This just needs to be the watch Jessica go into debt because she buys too much makeup and has absolutely no self-control channel. What is up guys? Today I'm doing a really belated Black Friday shopping haul because I don't go out to the stores and do Black Friday shopping. No, I don't, but I do all my Black Friday shopping online. Some of this stuff actually includes Cyber Monday as well. I did it all online, so it took a little while for some things to ship to me, and I'm actually waiting for one more package. But I was like, now I just need to, I just need to go. I just need to get this done because I want to put some of this on with you guys today as a first impressions, and I just can't wait anymore. It's been too long. So I'm going to show you just the beauty stuff that I got because I also got clothes and shoes and accessories. <laughs> Whoa, no, I'm not made of money. Don't you start thinking that I'm rich because I am not. I tried to have self-control. I don't really have it, but I tried. So I'm just gonna be going through some of the stuff that I bought. I will also put on some stuff for the first time um, and then also show you guys some of the stuff that I bought that I've already been wearing. Before we move on to the next section, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to do that. And definitely hit the notification bell so you can be reminded the next time I upload a video. I swear I don't always look like this. This is just because I know I have lip products that I'm gonna try on. So I'm gonna shut up and we're just gonna go ahead and get through everything. <laughs> I don't even know like where to begin, but I'm looking at my face and I'm like, hmm, I need color and I need lips. So maybe we should go into lips first. Okay, I have been wanting to try the Patrick Ta stuff for so long. I waited, I waited, I waited, I waited for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And guess what? Patrick Ta had no deals. But I bought it anyway. I have actually been testing out. All I did was swatch his lipsticks, but I've been using the lip liners because they are fabulous. Stinking fabulous. The thing about his collection was it's called the Monochrome Moment. So it's called a monochrome moment, and it's monochrome. It really matches these. It's very, very nude. I actually picked colors based off the swatches online, and I'm like, yeah, this is the right color. These look great, hmm? But when I put it on, it kind of looks like I have concealer lips, which isn't my thing. If, that, if that's your thing, you, you do that. That's not my thing. This one in particular is called, this one's called She Secure, it didn't make me feel secure. The applicator is something I haven't seen before. It's almost like slanted, like an eyebrow uh, pencil, um, but it's for your lips, and I've just found this to be so amazing at applying it just right. So I'm actually gonna go through with She's Proud. So it's literally like your perfect nude. It's, oh, it's so pretty, it's so creamy. The applicator makes it so easy to apply, and then you click it when you want more. These are amazing. I swear this is gonna be like my new favorite lip liners. So I'm gonna swatch the Silky Lip Creams. This is She's Secure. So pretty. I just happen to really like a little bit more color for fall, um, but in summer, this would be pretty. The formula is phenomenal. The formula is so comfortable, so beautiful and elegant and it's just it's perfect this is she's confident so those are the two shades i got i mean on my white is white white hand they look great it's really like if you're looking for a very toned down muted lip and you have like a big bold eye or something of that nature or you're just looking for a very natural look these are so gorgeous okay in that same vein i just couldn't resist this i just couldn't this is a package deal. It's the major glow on the go duo. I don't know, I'm, I'm just reading the title. Oh, can we see the sparkle? Can you see the sparkle? Oh my gosh, look at the sparkle. <laughs> I haven't opened it yet because it's just so pretty. Okay, also in the lip category, ColourPop, the brand that never sleeps, came out with the butterfly collection. If you haven't seen it, they have this huge like butterfly collection and I love everything, but I don't wanna get everything because I already have uh, so much makeup, it's ridiculous. So I just settled for three new lipsticks. <laughs> I got their new uh, Luxe Give Me Some Lip Lipsticks. 
So the packaging on these is so pretty. If you could see up close, there's actually like glitter on these. So these formulas are incredible. I've only actually used one color, which is Virgo Moon, and then the other two I haven't done yet, but it is so soft. It feels like velvet on your lips. It's incredible. So this is the packaging on it. Super cute little bullet. Love, love, love the rose gold color. So this is the Virgo Moon. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but it just, it looks like velvet. I don't think the camera is picking it up, but it is so pretty. Let me give you a swatch. So this is Virgo Moon. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like your perfect mauve color for every day. Okay, next up is very similar. All of these colors were kind of similar in tone. This one is called Oasis. Ugh, and they just glide on like butter. And these guys were like, I want to say after the 30% off sale for Black Friday, it was like five or six bucks or something like that. I mean, amazing. Finally, I got Solo Dance, which is a little bit more dark. I haven't worn it yet. It's just such a lovely burgundy brown color. Ugh, it's so pretty. It's just stunning. Slow dance. Oh. Shut the front door. Love it. So Ulta also had a really big sale and I'm diamond. It's nothing to be proud of. It's really nothing to be proud of. That means way too much money has gone into beauty items. But since I'm already diamond, I might as well take advantage of it, right? So at Ulta, I went through and found some stuff that I really wanted to try that I haven't because like I've said in my intro video, if you haven't watched it yet, definitely go watch it. I really like new and innovative things, things that I haven't found, things that are maybe a little bit different, and I have super dry skin. So Ulta has this brand, Kiko Milano, which is a Italian-based brand. They have a foundation called Sicilian Notes, okay? It's very similar. If you've watched uh, my other video uh, about the Kevin Aquan um, foundation that looks literally just like this. So I was thinking, oh, is this the same thing but a dupe? Because this was like, I think I paid 12 bucks for it. But it's the same idea. You get a little mini brush, you swirl it in there, and you put it on. I'm thinking, okay, let's see how this compares. Holy moly, okay. This is like water. So it looks like cream. This is my little test area. It looks like cream, but when you touch it, it like turns to water. I don't know how to explain it. It's something you have to experience. Okay, like water. I mean, it's so smooth. It just, it's like turns into oil water. I don't know how to describe it. The only thing, as you can see, is this is quite dark. They only had two shades available, and so I got the lighter shade. And in the summer, this will actually match me perfect. Um, okay, also at Ulta, I got lots of skincare items. So I don't know if you guys have all heard of this brand, but this is Peach and Lily. Um, they have some really great stuff. They have a, a glass skin refining serum that's amazing. Um, this particular item that I bought was the La Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads. Okay, if you hate taking 400 hours on your skincare, that's me, then this will be your best friend. This is like your toner, your moisturizer, your hyaluronic acid, some serum like all in one. So if you're getting lazy and you don't wanna take forever, you just take one of these little cotton pads out. They look like, like a Stridex, like cotton pad type situation that's soaked in formula. Spread it all over your skin and it hydrates it, it revives it, it gives it a little bit of zhuzh, and it's, it's, it's perfect if you're lazy. It's a bomb product and I definitely use points for this so it didn't cost me hardly anything in comparison to what it normally would. Additionally, I got these Elizabeth Arden Retinol Ceramide Capsules. So if you haven't started any kind of skincare routine or you have any lines or wrinkles or any kind of texture on your skin at all, I would highly recommend starting to use some form of retinol, very light to start out with, or some sort of ceramides. That's really gonna help your skin. I've noticed a huge change in my own skin 
from using more of it and this stuff I have noticed a difference in dramatically using these so they're like these little squishy pods almost like those little soaps that like melt in your bath I used to buy a ton of those when I was little and you just twist off the top and it gives you like a perfect amount of application um, and I wear these before I go to bed at night and I love them I think they're amazing I think sometimes we as consumers are being inundated with so many new products that you forget about the really great brands that are still out there that have some amazing things. And Elizabeth Arden, I feel like, doesn't get talked about enough. There's some amazing things in Elizabeth Arden. You just need to go hunting and searching. You don't need to always buy the most brand new thing that's out there. This stuff is bomb. And yeah, I highly, highly recommend. Also at Ulta, there is a new brand called The Root, and I got their primer. They have a bunch of stuff from this brand that I really want to try, and this thing really broke the bank. I'm not going to lie. I think this primer was like 50 bucks. But this is the Skin Loving Glow Primer. It's a hybrid skincare and makeup primer in one. It gives you a little bit of luminosity, also kind of fills in the pores a little bit. I'll show you kind of what it looks like. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's more white and it has a bit of a glow to it. It's kind of sticky, but it doesn't stay sticky. It just has a small amount of radiance to it. I need to use it a little bit more to kind of give off my full review. I've only been using it for a little bit. Um, I'm still quite addicted to my Cover FX gripping primer. I don't know that I would run out and get this again, but it's really nice for luminosity and it's I just wanted to try out the brand, so this is definitely something I'm going to keep working with and see what else the brand comes out with. Last but not least from Ulta, I recently did a review on ColourPop's new lashes and I just fell in love with putting on lashes all over again. But I am a bit of a natural gal in case you didn't notice, I'm not doing some crazy Instagram eye looks. Um, so I went for Eyelore's Natural Lashes. I haven't tried these yet, I was waiting to do this video and then I'm going to try these out. But I got these 3 fourth length ones because I have such an issue with them going in the corner of my eye. It literally bugs me to no end when my eyelash, um, the fake eyelash is going in the corner of my eye. I'm sure it's just a me thing but I hate it, like I can't stand the feeling of it. I feel like my eye is like all the way down. So I don't like that. So I like the, the idea of the three quarter and I'm so excited to give these a try. So then I also got a three set of the naturals. This is what they look like. Aren't they so pretty and natural? I feel like they're gonna give me that extra bit of length that I really, really want because I have some stubs, okay? I've got stubs. So I'm always looking for a way to make my eyelashes look a little bit longer. Um, and these look very natural. Like I don't feel like my eyes gonna be way down. <laughs> it's just gonna be, natural but very very pretty that is my perfect segue into this which I'm gonna do a whole video on so stay tuned for this product but this is a lash lift kit so I'm going to actually do a video on this whole product but I'm going to lash lift at home so I'm going to literally make sure my lashes are going up all the time or at least semi permanently I think this lasts for like six to eight weeks but we're gonna give it a go and see if this actually works. I got it on their Black Friday deal, so it ended up being like 30 or $40, and it came super, super, super fast. So if this works, guys, you do not need to go to the salon. You can do this one at home. Stay tuned for this video. I'm so, so excited to try this out. Two more sections to go, and then I swear you can shut me off. But I am obsessed with nail stuff right now. And I am a sucker for packaging and you know, all the ads. So I got Static Nails Nude Collection because they had a huge Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. So I got their Nude Collection, which looks like this. So it has all the different shades of nude. It comes with its primer, the top coat, and then all these different beautiful shades of nude. I am obsessed, like obsessed with these. They look like glass. I have them on my hands now. They look like glass and they're so, so pretty. So I also got the Major Glow Kit, came in this little bag. It has all these beautiful like pinky purple shades and I tested them out before I decided to talk about them in this video because yeah. So I have some on my nails today and it's hard to tell through the camera but I use a little bit of the pink and a little bit of the nude together and it's like this like really pretty reflective 
normally when I do my nails by myself it looks like a first grader did it so these have been surprisingly like foolproof to use and they've last such a long time but what's most exciting about this brand is they have their own line of nails that you can put on yourself and it comes with glue there's a whole different range of shapes and I got the clear ones, but they have some that already have, they have some that already has like nail polish on them and they're supposed to be reusable. I used um, another set of these clear ones in a different shape and they were so easy to use. And then I just added the color I wanted on top. They lasted me about a week, but that's also because I have like a toddler who's like insane. And um, so they kind of popped off quicker, but they didn't hurt when they popped off and they stayed on beautifully and they looked like I had them done at a salon. I'm not kidding. Okay, finally, this is what I'm most excited about. I went a little ham on the highlights. So I got the new Jaclyn Hill Mood Powder which was the product of her collection I was most excited about. I sort of played around with this a little bit just to kind of see where I can use it. I'm not sure how I feel all the way about it yet, but. And then additionally, I found Cover FX's Illuminating Setting Powder, which I didn't even know existed, and I wanted to try these up against each other. Okay, these are so similar in color. I don't know if you can tell. This one's like, Jaclyn Hills is a little bit more of an orange and this one's more of like a peach. So I'm just gonna take a really nice fluffy brush and this is what I've been doing with the Jaclyn powder. I've just been taking a little bit of it and using it as like a highlight underneath my eye to sort of like illuminate this area. So here's the side, here's without. I mean, it really does give an illumination and it's very pretty and very, very subtle, which I love. So this is the Jaclyn Hill side. So Jaclyn Hill Mood Powder. Now I'm gonna go in with the Cover FX. Okay, so up close, they're very similar. This one's a little bit more subtle, the Cover FX, and the Jaclyn Hill's a little bit more of like, almost like a gloss look but they're both very pretty. But overall, I'm loving the idea of illuminating powders. I just think they look very pretty, very natural, very effortless. So I'm excited to kind of play around with both of these. I really wanna try the Cover FX one out more, so I'm gonna be using that more in a few videos as I try it out and see how it works as a setting powder. So Cover FX also has this loose highlight. I haven't tried it. This is my first time taking it out of the box, and I'm so excited. So it's like Jaclyn Hill's idea of loose highlight light powders but you get three different shades inside of it because who the heck is going to be able to use one of these in just one shade that's so difficult right look at that oh my gosh cover effects you're so good oh and they're so pretty I love them all such pretty colors so I'm gonna go in with one of the shades which is called moonlight and I'm gonna do a little highlight over here with moonlight Ooh, look at that. Oh my word. That is pretty gorgeous. Love this. Maybe I can even make some of these into eyeshadows because they're loose powders. Ooh. And my last piece of this whole video is the limited edition Jouer Molten Glow All Over Face and Body Highlighter and Lip Topper. It came in a set. If you're not familiar with this brand, let me tell you something. This brand has the best highlights. No other brand has been able to compare as thus far in my life. Jouer does the best highlights. They're incredible, they're amazing. So, when she did this limited edition with this, okay, amazing packaging, right? I was like, oh, well sold, let's go ahead and get that. So it wasn't part of their Black Friday deal, but I don't care, okay? I don't care. It also came with this super cute fluffy brush. Okay, does anyone feel just as excited about using this cute fluffy brush with this amazing packaging? Okay, this doesn't look like much, right? But when you get up close, you can see all of the shimmer. It's like this really beautiful gold champagne-y kind of color. I haven't tried this yet. I'm waiting to do this on camera and I'm so excited. I'm gonna dip in. Oh, 
Oh my word. Um, well that's stinking stunning. So included was this limited edition lip topper in Funfetti. <laughs> I'm literally so jazzed about everything I got. I wish you guys could experience the amount of love and excitement that I have for makeup because I love it. I still have a whole order coming from Ulta and a whole order coming from ColourPop. They're just really delayed, unfortunately. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around through this huge haul. Definitely let me know what you thought about any of the products I got. If there was anything you want to see more of that I can add on my channel and do a little bit more in depth on, let me know. I still have two more orders that need to come in. I have an Ulta order and a ColourPop order. So I can update you guys on Insta stories if you're interested in seeing what I got in those. And if you want to see my clothing and shoe haul from Black Friday, definitely let me know that as well. You can let me know on my Instagram or you can let me know here in the comments down below which reminds me don't forget to check out my Instagram I love doing polls over there and kind of getting a feel for what everybody likes in the makeup industry and community and for sure for sure for sure like this video if you liked anything from this haul and if you liked this video. I appreciate all of you guys. I'm so excited that you're all here. I love making these videos and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.